Toth. I have been charged with judging their fates, and have found them guilty. Let us do this by the book. Let's pick up the pace. Try and keep up. Now you die. Your day of judgment is nigh. It's too soon to write my name just yet. Whew. Even I felt nervous for a second there. Give me the bird's eye view. Take note of any trespassers. I could stand with my beak. Preparation never hurts. A fine addition to my arsenal. What power? I must make note of this. Defend the balance. This should help me keep my book safe. I have been judged the victor. So many names in the dead book. It was his day to die. Fight the judge of the dead and fall. I've never read of a building falling so fast. So much for their structural integrity. This is all wrong. I cannot render judgment on my own death. Must I record my own name this day? It is not wise to stand against the judge of the damned. Time to pin your name in the Book of the Dead. Your soul is heavy. Allow me to unburden you. Your day of judgment is at hand. Your verdict? Guilty. Your sentence? Death! Two heads and you still never saw what hit you. It would seem the scales have tipped in my favor this day. You would dare wield magic against me? You are awfully impertinent for a lizard. Strange that, before me, your might is but that of a mere child. It is not I who have forsaken you, but you who have forsaken righteousness. Once I asked a librarian where the self-help section was. If I told you, he replied, that would defeat the purpose. How many books have I read in my lifetime? I can't really say. I am not dead yet. A lover once gave me an ultimatum. Either the books go or I do. Sometimes I think of her when I acquire a new text. The other day a book fell on my head, but I have only my shelf to blame. One book says to another, You look a little thinner. Second book says, Thanks, I had my appendix removed. 